iPad OS 16 has just dropped and it has brought so many great features with it and it has brought the iPad to a new level. So now let me just show you here on my iPad. Now let me just show you here about the new features that the iPad OS 16 has brought. The first one is the home screen as you can see it has changed, the clock has changed, the, the date uh, location has changed and that is a really nice change in my opinion. Now let's get to the real changes. And the first application I will start with is Safari. They have brought many new uh, changes to Safari and updates, which are really nice in my opinion. Uh, most of which are related to group tabs. And as you can see here, the first one is now you can uh, set a different start page to different group tabs. So as you can see here in the default one, I don't really have anything going on here in my start page. As you can see, I can start a new one and nothing really shows up. But in this tab, I've set it to have like a wallpaper and uh, a favorite. How you can do that? It's really easy. You can just start a new tab, then you go and edit it. You set a wallpaper uh, from ones you have or from these default ones as you like. And you can add uh, some favorites and the uh, tab group favorites, which is set right here. And you can add whatever you want, which is really nice. Per se Google and as you can see here. And whenever you start a new uh, tab, it will be set to that default one that you have set for this specific group tab. The second one is now you can pin, uh, pin tabs in group tabs. Yes. So as you can see right here, I can just uh, hold into this uh, website and I can pin and I can press on pin tab and it will be pinned as you can see right here. I can always uh, open it and uh, as you can see here I still have uh, other tabs opened in this uh, group which is really nice and uh, also another feature they have brought if you use any of these languages here from Turkish, Thai, uh, Vietnamese, Polish, Indonesian, uh, Dutch uh, Safari now uh, does support web page translation for these languages and these are also other changes they have made to Safari. Uh, you can just pause and read them if you like. Another change they have brought, uh, they have brought with uh, iPad OS 16 is now we have a weather application, as you can see right here. Now this is the weather here in Amman, and uh, it's the default one you would see on your iPhone, but now it is present here on iPad. Let's just hope they bring a calculator application to the iPad. Another cool feature they have, bought to, uh, they have brought to the iPad. <clears throat> Another really nice feature they have uh, put in the iPad OS 16 is Stage Manager. To activate it, you will need to set it up in your control center at first, and you can activate it from settings, but uh, it isn't really ideal to do that. So you just go here into control center and add it. And from there, you can just uh, swipe down to, you, to show your control center, and you can activate it from here. And you can hold onto it to adjust it if you want uh, when you have stage manager activated if you want to have the bars these bars uh, shown or not and i'll show you here how you can use stage manager so now let me just show you how stage manager works i can open safari and i have here in this uh, sidebar i have the other applications that i had open uh, settings doesn't really support being opened in like a window sized or with other applications so that's why you see it like that but let's say i have safari and i want to open another safari website with it i can just uh, hold onto it and put it right into here to resize these windows i can just uh, hold onto this uh, little arrow or arc per se and i can uh, minimize it or uh, enlarge it as I like. And I can put multiple of websites here as I like. And any applications that support being uh, put in uh, like a window, you can open it without a problem, as you can see right here. 
let's say you don't really want the sidebar present while you are in stage manager to have like more real estate or not real estate more screen uh, size per se or screen state per se you can just uh, deactivate it from the control center right here and if you want to turn off stage manager you can just turn it off from the control center Another feature they have uh, they have brought to the iPad OS 16 is now you can take uh, text from videos. So now let me just take a screen recording from here so I can show you. First, I need to add screen recording to my control center, which uh, which I can add from the settings. Now let me just re screen record for like a bit, then I can show you in the photos application. So I've started the uh, screen recording. Let me just scroll right here. Now that should be enough. So now let me just take you to the photos uh, application. So as you can see, I can just uh, stop at any point in this video, in the screen recording that I've took. As you can see right here, I can just select text and I can translate it as you can see right here into whatever language I want. It's set to Arabic right here. So these are some of the most uh, like uh, useful changes they have made to iPad OS 16. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe and like, and uh, you can find more on my channel.